As governments around the world prepare for the start of COVID-19 vaccinations, there are some questions about your rights when it comes to getting inoculated. Could you lose your job if you refuse to get the shot? Joining us now with more on this is employment lawyer Howard Levitt. Howard, thank you for your time this afternoon. And so we're seeing uh, COVID vaccines already starting to take place, such as places such as Russia, for uh, instance. And so I want to get your idea on what rights do employees have when it comes to either accepting or refusing the COVID-19 vaccine? Well, we know there are no cases on point that are relevant. The employers cannot enforce a flu vaccine, but flu, flu is not as virulent or as contagious. It doesn't have the same life-threatening issue that COVID does. Mm -hmm. So in my view, it is clear that if you're working in a position where you're around vulnerable people, such as long-term care homes, or even grocery stores where you're dealing with lots of people all day, it can be mandatory and it can be cause for discharge if you refuse to take the vaccine. Okay, the so law is less settled in a normal workplace environment, although I would think there's a strong argument that can be made to the courts that it's that it can be made mandatory by employers and they can force them to take. Now, this is contentious. We don't know what the law will be, but it's, it's not the same as the flu where it can't be compulsory according to some very low-level arbitral decisions from arbitrators. But I think that's the better view right now, that it can be made mandatory in most circumstances. Hmm. And so you're mentioning the, the idea that perhaps if you're a, an essential worker or you're in a line of duty where you work with, say, um, the most vulnerable or senior citizens, it's one thing. But are you also suggesting that regardless, if you work at um, even a, an office space or let's say you work at uh, a local nearby, let's say a grocery store, that is still a cause for you're saying employers could still potentially say you need to get the vaccine? I think the law is less clear and we're going to have to wait for court decisions, but I think a very strong argument can be made for that because at the end of the day, wherever you're working, if you're close to other people, you're risking other people's health if you end up having COVID. So I think the chance is better than 50% that a court would find that it can be made mandatory and cause for discharge if an employer refuses to take it. It's tough right now because an employee is going to refuse to take it knowing they're breaching a company order and not knowing at the end of the day what a court's going to do because they haven't ruled on it yet. Mm -hmm. So what would someone, how should someone prepare uh, if this is a situation where uh, they are thinking, you know, if by chance my job is forcing me or making me choose to take the vaccine and I really don't want to, what are their next steps? Well, if I have a religious exemption, a genuine religious exemption or a health exemption, that's always an exemption wherever you're working. That's the human rights code. And for that matter, that's the charter. But short of that, and of course, short of that is the other 99 percent of the population. They've got a decision to make. They can get fired and take a chance at the win in court, knowing they might lose or take the vaccine. And I think most will take the vaccine. And is that do you think that that would be implemented right away considering the fact that the vaccine is still very new and we still haven't seen long-term effects of this vaccine? I don't think any employer can make it mandatory unless the public health guidelines say that this is a safe vaccine. Now, it might not be very long before enough hundreds of thousands of people will have taken the vaccine and not have any deleterious impact that the public health authorities will be recommending the vaccine. But certainly in the short term, for example, it was rolled out next month. I have a friend that's actually taking it in England next week. If it gets rolled out in Canada, say January or February, I don't know that we're going to be so lucky, but if it does, mm -hmm. I think employees will be well within the rights to refuse to take it. But after a few months, or even if internationally, some millions of people have been vaccinated without ill consequence, then employers can roll that requirement out immediately. Hmm. Okay. Lots of interesting discussions, especially as it is getting closer and closer to us here in Canada when it comes to vaccine conversations. We have to leave it there, but employ employment lawyer Howard Levitt, thank you for your time this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.